Hello everyone, today we continue learning Python and today we we'll work with QR codes in Python. So let's start. Okay, so we don't have pre-installed library for QR codes in Python and because of that we need to install one. So I open up my terminal and then I'll write pip install QR code. It's a library which is convenient and I always use it when I need a QR code in my Python program. Okay, then we will import it with QR code and I will introduce the first class, which is called uh, QR code, QR code like that. So that class helps us to create flexible QR codes. And let's call it, for example, maker equals QR code. And then how we can add data to our QR code. So now we have no data because we haven't added it yet. And to add data, we can simply call add data. We can call add data multiple times, but actually yeah. uh, often you just put a link like that. And here, your link will contain all the content you need because the more uh, amount of data QR code stores, uh, the bigger our QR code is because yeah that's how QR code works it simply encodes your data in QR code okay now how we can show our QR code so I started my program and as you can see nothing is printed we have no file no image to show our QR code we can use two commands first of all we can call maker dot print as key so print as key simply prints your QR code in your console now let's start and as you can see here it is our QR code it's kind of big but we'll work with that later with the size and amount and if you want to save your QR code as a text plain text in a file in a text file what you can do is provide out argument right here so out open I'll open up file for example qr.txt then uh, with mode as write and we should provide an encoding provide an encoding as you can see our QR code is built of some unknown symbols so these symbols are not um, very used in older encodings and most of you have windows okay and windows uses uh, actually i forgot how it's called properly but cp 1015 something like this that encoding and because of that if i run my program now it will return an error so as you can see unicode encode error because we have not provided uh, an encoding and we should provide an encoding um, like utf8 so now i think everything will work fine let's start yeah, as you can see, process finished with exit code zero, so everything works fine. And I have file qrtxt right here. Well, let's open it, and as you can see, here our QR code is. So yeah, everything works fine. If you want to save your QR code into text file, you can use that. Uh, then there is another comment which is called print uh, tty, but actually I don't know how uh, to use it, and I have never used it. In most scenarios, it prints some crap. And actually I have never used it, so I don't recommend using it. It's better to save your QR code in an image. And now let's talk about images as QR codes. So to save your QR code in an image, what you can do is call maker dot make image like that. And let's call img equals maker dot image and then img save as QR dot png, for example. Now let's run our code. And as you can see now, our QR code is saved in an image and here our image is. So let's open it and here our QR code is. So we can compare QR code right here and yeah, they are pretty similar. Okay, now everything works fine, but let's talk about an image and what a save method is. So when we work with images in Python, we use PO or PO module. It's a very popular module and yeah, actually it's, uh, I think the main module for images in Python. But if you want to save your image to SVG, for example, or to I don't know some cool format what you can do is use image factory but actually i don't recommend you using it because it's better to just uh, save your image and yeah work with PO because PO can do everything you need and yeah actually if you want you can provide and uh, there is nothing complicated in it you can uh, look in the documentation down below but i won't uh, do it today because i just don't want to do it and i again recommend you to use PO. so after maker.make image uh, by default it uses PO image factory and it returns PO image object. And PO image object itself has save method, which saves your image in QR PNG. So now everything works fine. So again, we use we use PO module uh, when we do not provide image factory. Okay, so now we have QR PNG right here, and let's talk about QR code parameters. So the first parameter I want to introduce is version. So version defines how big your QR code will be. There are 40 types of version from 1 to 40. So nothing complicated. And actually, let's go for example one. Let's run our code. Let's run our code and let's go to qrpng. Uh, as you can see, we have 400, uh, 410 by 410 pixels. 
Now let's go uh, version, for example, 10. I don't want to go with 40 because it will take lots of time. Uh, yeah, process finished, let's open our image and as you can see our QR code got bigger. And now its size is uh, 650 by 650 pixels. And yeah, actually it defines how big your QR code will be. And yeah, that's it. Now let's talk about error correction. So imagine that you printed your QR code on a sticker in real life, not in Python. And then it was damaged. So for example, it was set on fire or it was ripped off. And error correction defines how much damage your QR code can sustain or can defend. And there are four types of error corrections in every QR code actually. It's, uh, it has nothing to do with QR code module. So QR code dot uh, error correct H, error correct L, M and Q. Uh, actually they go, they go as L, uh, Q, M and H, like that. So by default QR code uses error correct M. And why there are four types of error corrections? Because every type can sustain X amount of damage in percents. So for example, error correct H can sustain up to 30% of damage. Uh, correct M can sustain up to 15% of damage. Uh, L from, I think from 10 to 20 and Q, actually I forgot, but uh, Q and L are the most weak ones and M and H are the most uh, strong ones. And you can look at the documentation, there will be listed, every error correct uh, type will be listed and uh, there will be a number of damage they can sustain. And why everybody, and why there are even four types of error corrections and why we can use H, the strongest one. Because the bigger your, or um, the bigger damage your, because the bigger damage your QR code can sustain, the bigger uh, or the less dense your QR code is. So for example, if I'll call uh, error correct L, my QR code will be dense. So I can put lots of data in a small uh, QR code frame. But if I will put H, I can put um, not a big amount of data on a small uh, QR code because again, it will need to sustain damage and our QR code can be tremendous. Box size and border, these parameters show how big your QR code is and actually they define nothing but size. And yeah, actually that's all about QR code um, parameters. So now I want to introduce some cool things. If you want to make your QR code colorful, you, what you can do is go uh, fill color and back color. So fill color obviously defines what's uh, the, defines the color of your QR code. And back color defines uh, the color of the background of your QR code image. And now let's go for example, um, back color as green and fill color as, um, I don't know, purple like that beautiful okay uh, now let's open up our QR code pingy and as you can see our colors are changed okay so now I want to talk about maker.make function so uh, actually it's better to call maker.make function once you added your data so for example I don't want to add uh, additional data after that line the fifth one and because of that I need to call maker.make maker.make simply mm, evaluates or compiles your QR code into um, an array. And yeah, actually it's better to call QR or maker.make because it's just better. If your data is big enough and you call make image or print as key, what, will ha what might happen is, uh, okay, let's rerun our code. What might happen is that your QR code will not be readable at all. And actually because of that, it's better to call maker.make before you save your image. And I forgot to tell you about that, but now everything works fine. Okay. The last function I want to reduce is QR code.make. And let's go. So, what QR code make does, it's um, just simply creates QR code like here with all the parameters you mentioned. Then it adds some data and then it returns an image. And yeah, actually, that's it. What I can do is save image right after that. And yeah, it's kind of convenient. If you want to use QR code make, you can use that. If you want to use QR code uh, class, you can use that. Uh, yeah, and actually that's all about QR codes. They are pretty convenient and yeah, that's actually it. So good luck.